Hi, this is Aunt Nisi coming to you with another commentary here at the Rhythm and Blues Review. And this week my commentary is entitled, Did You Know? We all have heard of Madam C.J. Walker, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X. But, did you know? Dr. Patricia Bath was a famous black inventor. In 1985, she invented a specialized tool and procedure for the removal of cataracts. With this procedure, she increased the accuracy and results of cataract surgery, which was previously performed manually with a mechanical grinder. Did you know? Dr. Martin Dean started working for IBM in 1980 and was instrumental in the invention of personal computers. He holds three of IBM's original nine PC patents. Did you know Lonnie G. Johnson invented what the kids love, the super soaker gun? Did you know Bessie Blau was an inventor born in Hetley, Virginia in 1914. She started her career in physical education and during World War II, she helped invalid soldiers and created a device to help them eat a device that delivers small amounts of food through a tube to assist the soldiers in eating their food. Did you know Marjorie S. Joyner invented the permanent wave machine which allowed hair to be straightened for several days? Did you know Elijah McCoy? Most people have heard of the statement, the real McCoy. That statement came about because his inventions were so great that no one wanted an imitation. McCoy was best known for creating a cup that lubricated oil to machine bearings. Did you know Garrett Morgan invented the gas mask and the traffic light? Did you know Norma Merrick Scalark was the first African American woman to be licensed as an architect in the United States? And in 1985, she became the first African American woman to form her own architect firm. Did you know Wilma Rudolph, born 1940, to 1994 was the first black female Olympic gold medal winner. She was also the first black woman to win three gold medals in the Olympics. And did you know Edith S. Sampson was the first black U.S. delegate to the United Nations. She was also elected the first judge in the U.S. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. Well, that's all for now. And I hope something has been said to make you think. And if it has, let us know here at the Rhythm and Blues Review. And as I always say, use your brain so it won't get lame.